All right. Put them up. Put it up on top. A little more. There you go. Good. Perfect. I did it. She wasn't gonna do much of two wheel drive in the dirt. Hey, that's pretty easy with ramps. I forgot where the parking brake is on this thing, so. I'm gonna tie it on there for one. Yeah, you got it all the way down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Come rolling back on us. Does it roll that easy? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't think so. But... I don't either. I ain't going no damn where. Alright. I'm gonna have to ask you a couple things to operate. Well, it doesn't look like I have much other room, do I? Room wise. No, but you can come back over another mm -hmm. day. Yeah, it doesn't have to be today. So yeah. One more load will get everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, I got all that stuff in the bucket. What stuff? The PT. Oh, okay. Things have been really helpful many times. And like I say, you tip it a little bit. Yeah. I mean, that was easy. Yeah, I wasn't to do it. See, it that starts smoking in. though immediately. Yeah. Well, I, I spilled some oil. I didn't have a funnel when I changed the oil. That might be what it is. Might. Well, I'm bring it to the shop. Let them figure it out. Let them figure it out. I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a mechanic, so that's not going to be my part. Um, you have to tell me a few things about it, though. Tell me something about it. Tell me. So four wheel drive on and off. I see that PTO up and down. Well, on and off, I think for the PTO. PTO is. Right now it's in the middle. Yeah, and there's a button on the side that you gotta push for the PTO. It's a green button. On the other, on the other side? Mm -hmm. Right there, I see the PTO. Yep. So you push the PTO and then what? It'll start the, the PTO. Somehow. Oh, okay. So what's this over here then? I think that's just on and off, I think. Um, this I is, see where it says on. Yeah, this is your idler. Idle. Okay, this is your bucket. Yep, front bucket. And this is your PTO lift. Up and down. Up and down. Yep. What's this one? Just on and off? Yeah, I think... I think it doesn't make it anything move. No, I don't think so. Um, well, what makes the back one move? The, what, what makes this one go up and down? The, the other... Over on the other side? That one. What makes the front go up and down? Right beside it. The big one. This one's the yep. front. This one's the back. Okay. Right. Boy, my tractor was a bitch, man. It was both. did operate the same. That's and, stupid. And so the the um, the hydrostat's going to need to be adjusted, right? Because it's trying it it doesn't have a it's trying to it, it's a sweet spot to get it not to go forward in, in reverse. Really? Yeah. So it, there's a there's a pin underneath you can adjust to fix that. It's called the hydrostat. Hydrostatic. Yeah. And that's what makes the go forward in reverse. Right. So. They're, and the pedals are labeled. Yes, right. And so they, they go to linkages down here. Yep. If you look down there, there's a, some pins. That, I do. Yep. That I see the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I see that. Um, like I said, I bypassed the 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 valve on the diesel. Yeah. And you know why I told you. Yeah. Why. Because the filter didn't work. Right. And I tightened the frame bolts, but it probably needs an impact put on them. And I guess the only thing I haven't told you is the other side, this one's been welded again. Okay. Um, actually, the, the neighbor did that. What's this one for? 
Oh, you can take the front end loader off. Oh, to take it off, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see that. This is pin. your post that holds everything. Right, right. On both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. So, and my recommendation is you change all the fluids again. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. And the filters. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, I haven't run this thing in a couple of years. Yeah, it could use a few things. Maybe that's, even some new knuckle joints wouldn't hurt. You, yeah, it's probably gonna need some seals, and that's where you seals. That's where you put in your gear, gear oil. Yep. Um, I'll be letting somebody your, else handle all that. Hydraulic fluid goes in under the seat. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. And there's supposed to be a side glass back here. I tried to clean it off this morning. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let somebody else. So that, that's supposed to be your side glass, right Oh, there. goodness gracious. Yeah, you can't tell shit. Yeah, you can't tell nothing. I, okay. would, I would change the fluids and start over. And yeah, I'm going to let them do all that before I even do anything. Awesomeness. Let me get this thing over to his place. Just be his careful place. taking it on and off with that hydrostat. Okay, it's because of what's it do? Because it, it, it sticks a little bit and there's a, there's a sweet spot where it's neutral. Oh, neutral. Where, where it won't go forward or back okay so just just be careful with it um and that's the backing up or forward right does that yeah just be gentle with the pedals until you get those linkages worked out okay okay all right brother let me get out of here then and i think that well uh, you can see i'll let you know what goes on as far as when i'm coming back you can see where the neighbor re-welded i do looks like you did a good job yeah he's he's a he's a great welder looks like you did a good job one of the tires has gone flat, so it's got a one new front tire. I've never had any issues with these. Okay. And like I said, they're not water-filled like, like a lot of tractors are. Right, right. So could be though, right? It could be, yeah. That'd give me a lot of weight in the back. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to lift a lot. No, I had the same problem I was trying to. Yeah, you got to have a counterbalance. All right. All right. All right, well, good luck. I'll, I'll be talking to you on the phone. Yes. Got a couple things loaded up. Tractor. I'm headed over to my tractor mechanic. Hopefully for a minute. Let's, can we send that back with you? Yeah, let's, let's put it in the back of the yeah. I don't want to leave that. So. No, let's put these right in the back of the truck. I've got nine million cameras on this house. Good. But uh, that means I got to chase them down after the fact. Yeah. But I usually don't have any trouble with this. Everybody knows that I have cameras. Yeah. It's good. You can see three of my neighbor's cameras facing over Good. Here. And that neighbor's got two facing over here. So they ain't gonna get nothing even if they do. They ain't gonna get away with it. So, so we'll work out some will and deal for, you know, trading on on stuff. And you tell me if I if you need some money to buy something. Because you need, you know, some cash or whatever, I can do that too. Because I know that side thing's gonna cost some money. Shooting you where 